Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hoffman, and I am here today showing you how to build another one of my mocks. This time, it's the mysterious being known only as the Time Traveling Makuda. You guys requested him, and now here he is. He's not a very complicated build, so without further ado, let's begin with the legs. Alrighty everyone, these are the parts you'll need. As usual, you can pause the video here and gather your parts and build anything you see here that is pre-built. The legs are fairly simple, so let's get started. First you'll take your paraca foot and a hand connector and just slide that straight on in, just like any other Lego set. Take these two connectors, oh and by the way, these two connectors are the two different kinds, not the same piece put this uh, Technic connector on the inside to fill in the gaps and make sure there are two, two long pins sticking in there and just stick that on the back of the foot. Then take this Vorak eye with the one or two long uh, plus rod in it and stick it in the back hole and that's all you need for the foot. For the lower leg it's also very simple you just need a black Rakshi limb. Take a, uh, a silver Vorak eye and a blue pin and stick that in the top back hole and on the front take a Nuva chest plate put a two long pin in the bottom or in the middle I guess and then stick it in the bottom two holes go ahead and click that onto the hand connector like so and now if the pieces for this look familiar then you'd be right you've seen this before on how to build Hellrix this is the uh, super simple custom upper leg and arm design that I believe I designed. Feel free to take, feel free to use this with or without credit. I do not care. Go ahead and take this Technic connector piece and put this on the bottom of the hand connector piece. Put a too long plus rod in there, and then go ahead and add this dual pin connector thingy majig onto the one side, and then mirror it on the other side with the same construction, like so. Then, slightly differently, we're going to take this uh, claw piece and this uh, three long axle with the, um, the cheese slope on the end and stick that in the back of the, uh, the piece there. And then you're going to want to mirror this to the other leg, so stick it the other way. And then we're going to put this ball joint on the end of that connector there. And then take a CCBS armor shell and stick it over the, the ball joint. Add a little horn piece there and then fill in this little area up top with this slicer foot piece. Then clip it all together. And like I said before, you'll need to. And that's how you build his legs. Moving on. Alright, now for the arms, these are the parts you'll need. To start, we'll take this Technic doodad here with the, uh, the two long axle on it. Stick a uh, stick the hand connector with the uh, ball in it, like so, and then take this four long uh, axle, stick it almost all the way through, so it sticks out one length on that side. Then on the inside, we're going to take uh, this piece and this uh, Glatorian neck piece here, and we're going to combine them like so, so that they hold together like that, and then we're going to hold that right there. So you're going to want to hold all that together like so while you take these two three long axles, stick them in the side of this armor piece. And then add this Glatorian neck piece like so. And that piece all the way through. Push that axle almost all the way back through. And then add the other side of this Technic armor piece here, pushing that axle back, and then pushing this axle all the way through, like so. Then take this Borak tooth piece in silver, stick it in the inside of the connection here on the hand connector, like that. And on either side of this four long pin, take a black Borak eye and stick it on either side, like that. Then over the Glatorian neck piece, we're going to take this uh, rubber tire piece and just force it over the ball joint and like so, so it sticks on like that. Then take this Solek blade piece or Baraki blade piece, whatever you want to call it, stick it right on there. And that's the lower arm. For the upper arm, we're going to need this piece configured like so. 
go ahead and take uh, these connection pieces and slide them on, or slide the scrawl armor on over like so, like that, so this connection goes straight through. Then add a washer on the end of that. Then using these two bow rock eyes and the three long axle, take that and stick it through the uh, ball joint up at the top. And then on the top hole of the uh, limb piece there, take a black Nuva shoulder and stick it over like so. And then go ahead and clip the uh, ball joints together of the two arm pieces. And then last but not least, this is how we'll connect the arm to the body, is we'll just add a hand connector onto the inside, like so. And then you'll need to mirror this, but thankfully they're actually the same way. So you can just turn one sideways and you're all good. Moving on, we will do the torso next. For the torso build, we'll start with the waist first. Quick note, this uh, CCVS piece here has a uh, washer stuck in it. This was forced in there, so it's kind of hard to get back out to show you how to put it in there. So just thought I'd note that, and obviously you'll need that too long axle in there. So go ahead and start with a usual Vaki waist piece. Put three too long pins on one side, and in the middle hole on the back, put a uh, half half pin and stud piece on there. Then go ahead and take this hand connector piece, stick it in the center of the Vaki waist, and slide a four long axle all the way through till it staggers on either side like that. Then on the inside, we're going to take this uh, washer and half pin, half axle, stick the washer on the axle side, and just stick the rest of the axle into the hand connector there. Then on the front, we will take these two Technic connectors, one's a angle two connector and one's an angle one connector. I guess that's what they're called, even though either one of them aren't, neither one of them are angles. <laughs> Let's go ahead and stick that on the front there. Oops. Then take these two lever crank pieces and the two two long axles and stick them on the sides of the, uh, the waist there. And then on the front, take this Metro chest plate piece and just clip that over the whole thing, like that. Then on the back, simply take this Hero Factory piece and clip it over the whole thing like that. And the uh, one of the pins on the armor should connect to the pin on the inside like that. And that's that. Moving on. Alright, now time for the upper half of the torso. These are the parts you'll need. To begin, let's build our, our super simple custom torso design. Starting with these pieces, put a three long pin through the bottom hole of this, or technically the top hole of this Metru limb piece with a Technic connector on that, uh, facing that way. Go ahead and do that with the other one as well. Then take this Hero Factory slash CCBS bone piece and put it on the uh, Metru limbs like so. Bend them towards the inside like that. Then take these two pieces with the uh, the gray stopper pins, the uh, ball joint, and the, uh, the fancy Technic piece that's the same as this one but not twisted, and then stick them on the inside of the Metru legs on either side like so. Alright, next take this Mata neck piece with the blue pin, stagger it in between the two, and then flipping it around, we'll go ahead and take this uh, Hero Factory shield piece, put the uh, this hole right there through the uh, blue pin, and then Go ahead and take this dual five long axle and dual uh, Technic lift arm construction. Stick them through the back two holes and then make sure they poke through the two connectors in the front there. Alright, now you can set that down. We're going to need to construct this using another one of these double sided pin connection pieces. Put two Technic connectors on either side like so. Then following that we're going to take this hand connector piece and this three long axle with the Technic connector on like that. Put that, put it on there and then put a Borak eye on the back. Stick that right on top of the whole thing like so. Like that. And then go ahead and add this to the front as well. Like that. Now setting that down we're going to need to take these two 
pan connectors with the faucet piece greeble and the horn greeble on it. Stick a bow rock eye and a two long pin facing down on either one. Like that. Then go ahead and click them onto the top ball joints of the, uh, the torso here. Like that, and bend them downwards so that they line up like so. Now setting that down, we're going to need to take this Mari cable and this connection like this and run the cable through that hole, running it all the way to the middle. Then we're going to take this Metro chest plate piece, put the cable through both holes like so, and then top it off with, an, uh, with, a, with a washer on the inside. Uh, okay. Now this was actually supposed to be facing upwards like this. My bad. So it should end up looking like that. Now this whole thing clips over the front like that. Put the connection onto the two pin or the two axles sticking out, and on the pin, stick the metric chest plate so it lines up like that. Then, last but not least, take these all these. Oops, take all these ExoForce arm pieces, put the spikes on them like you saw earlier, and then go ahead and arrange them at connecting to the thicker part of the piston on the side of the Metro leg. Go ahead and connect them right there in this pattern, silver, black, silver. Make sure the horns are facing uh, up and down on the two silver pieces do that for the other side as well. Like that. And that's how you build the upper half of the torso. Go ahead and grab the waist Oops. and stick the uh, ball joint on the bottom or on the middle of this connection piece like that. And that's how you build his torso. Last but not least we will construct the head. Alrighty. And last but not least the head. We will start with a marbled black and silver Kanohi Huna and a basic Metru head design with a trans orange brain. Stick a three long pin or a three long axle through. Whoa. Okay. Stick a three long axle through <laughs> and make it staggered on either side like that. And then go ahead and add the mask to the front like so and that pin should be perfectly aligned to keep the mask from uh, loosely wobbling around too much. It's not perfect, but it's close. And that's all you need to do to build the time-traveling Makuta. Go ahead and grab your limbs and connect them all together. All right, snap the legs onto the hip joints. And go ahead and snap the arms which, of course, don't actually need to be mirrored. That was my blooper earlier, to those who were smart enough to catch that. And obviously, head goes on the neck, and that's how you build the time-traveling Makuta. He stares into your soul. And so, guys, that is it. That is my quick tutorial on how to build the time-traveling Makuta. If you'd like to request more how to builds, be sure to check out the full list of mocks on Order Matanui Files. Well, almost full list of mocks. The, uh, the latest edition should be coming in the next two weeks, so look forward to that. You guys seem to be reluctant to vote for the 2016 version of Kunpaku, so for now he's been put on the shelf. If you really want to see him, be sure to vote for him. But now I have an even harder decision for you. Would you rather see the updated tutorial on how to build Noxus, or the first ever tutorial on how to build Flandrix, the Scarlet Devil. Be sure to cast your vote in the comments, and we will see in the next how to build who is the victor. If you make use of any of the designs you see in this mock, or you want to make your own version of this character, please feel free to do so. Make your mock post a video to it or post it anywhere online. Link it in the comments for me and I will post an annotation at the end of the video for you and everyone else to see and hopefully get you some exposure as well. That's my gift to you guys for being so awesome.
All right, without further ado, guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.